Okay, everyone. This is the best look around we're ever going to do, maybe. Uh, I'm about almost exactly halfway uh, all the way around the Misery Ridge uh, trail at Smith Rock. It's been super fun. I'm like, it took a couple breaks on the way up. Um, and it was really, it was really this cool, cool experience because there were a bunch of women like, we kept like passing each other and taking a break and then someone else would pass. So it was fun. Um, and uh, all I'm going to do since I'm on Misery Ridge, we'll bring up Misery, right? Don't put... Your clients through the misery of reading bad copy. Uh, get help if you need it, but also I want to teach you about this. Uh, it's called the Ada Principle and it is attention, interest, desire, action. So it's four steps um, and then what it is, it's so you're using, and this has been around for a really long time, so don't feel like after I explain it, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more because it's been around for a long time but it's been misused also for a really long time. Um, so the, the basic principles are for attention, right? You use a sentence that speaks to their problem, their dragon that we've talked about before. Um, so you, you grab their attention. You The next sentence or two is about, you know, just in, gaining more of their interest. You're kind of like talking more to their pain point. Um, and then you create a desire and the desire is for your product because ideally, right, your product can solve their problem. Um, and then the last one is super important in action. Uh, click here to, you know, order this product or, you know, watch this video or whatever it's gonna be uh, to solve the problem for them. Um, and so attention, interest, desire, outcome, or action, sorry. Um, and like I said, this has been around for a really long time and you've, you've seen it used a million times. And so you just want to be careful. You don't kind of fall into like the schmoozy trap that like it sets yourself up for, right? Um, because it's not about manipulation. You're not trying to like just use a bunch of hot words to get their attention um, and to get them, you know, to, to buy into your product. Uh, ideally, right, you're speaking authentically to their problem and the solution that you have for them and it's a good fit um, and you're communicating in the way that that you and them both speak because you're on the same team. Um, and so it's not manipulation, it's it's just creating a a, a bigger connection and in a proven way to make sure to have people have a, a really great engagement level with your copy. Um, so that's that's the key word that it's engagement, right? It's they're not just kind of seeing a bunch of words and skipping over it because it's not engaging with them. They're actually going to read your copy. That first line is going to get their attention, um, and then you you know you can actually start a conversation with your people at that point. Um, so I'm going to end it there. I'm going to finish my hike. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.